Hey YouTube. You hear the term genetic elite or genetic freak thrown around all the time, but what the hell does that even mean? What is a genetic elite or a genetic freak? How does that even work? Well, today I'm going to explain to you what makes a genetic elite. So the next time somebody says this guy's genetic elite, maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. So the two things that you need to understand about genetic freaks and genetic elites is that simply their body uses testosterone and heals differently than ours does. So let's talk about the three examples of genetic freaks or genetic elites when it comes to testosterone. In a previous video, I talked about serum testosterone versus free testosterone. So just to recap, serum testosterone is the total amount of testosterone that your body produces. Free testosterone is the amount of testosterone that is available to your muscles to use for growth. So the average person converts about 2% of their serum testosterone into free testosterone. So here's the three examples of genetic freaks when it comes to muscle building. The first genetic freak is the guy who just has naturally super physiological levels of testosterone, right? So let's say test goes between like 450 to 1000. This guy's producing like 1600, right? And it's not affecting his body at all. This is just him. He's a genetic freak. Now he doesn't convert to more, more than 2% free test. But because he's producing so much serum testosterone, just that 2% is enough to make him, you know, that much better off than the rest of us when it comes to muscle building. Second example of a genetic freak is the guy that doesn't produce a crap ton of extra testosterone, but converts more. So you get a guy who, who has like 700 uh, serum testosterone, but he's converting like 5% to free testosterone. So he's got like two and a half times the average testo free testosterone for muscles than, you know, you and I walking around. And the last type of genetic freak is the guy that has super physiological levels of testosterone and he converts a crap ton of that to free testosterone. And that is the, that is the genetic elite of genetic freaks. That guy is going to be able to work harder, build more muscle than all of us. Rich Piana made an awesome video about genetics uh, recently, loved it because he basically humbly said, you know, I'm on gear and I still believe that there are people that could be bigger than me naturally, right? And the reason for this is certain races um, actually are genetically predisposed to either produce more serum testosterone or convert more free testosterone. Because of this, you've actually seen like uh, a sports like the NFL change the way they're looking at um, testosterone use, right? Because they, they'll test somebody and they do a conversion of like, okay, what's, what's the serum testosterone to estradiol to free test? And they've ended up having to change the way they do it because there are just literally genetic freaks out there who produce so much testosterone and convert so much of it to free test, they look like they're on steroids on a test. So how does a genetic freak work? Well, you take that like either they produce a, a crap ton of serum testosterone, they convert a lot of free test, or they do both. Now, if you're talking about genetic freaks, those that end up using steroids, it's the second and third example that have the best genetics for uh, gear use. So the thing being, if you do produce, uh, if you naturally convert, like say 5% to free test, it doesn't matter if you have 700 testosterone, 1,000, 1,500, 3,000, you're gonna convert that 5%. So you're always gonna have just a crap ton more than the average person who's also taking gear with that free serum test, right? Look at it this way. You're, the genetic freak has a serum testosterone of 3,000 with a conversion rate of 5%. And you, as a normal dude, have take test injections and have a serum test of 3000, but you only convert two. That guy is obviously going to be more elite than you are, gonna be able to build more, be able to recover faster. And the last guy who's like super high serum, super high free, his body was built for steroids. His body was built to convert, right? Because he can already withstand super physiological levels of testosterone compared to the average guy. So if he injects, it's just gonna use that much more, that much better. Right? So that's a genetic freak, guys. That's how it all works. It's all about their body's conversion rate to uh, free test or how much they naturally produce. Second thing you gotta understand is the recovery rate. There are some people, they've done actually some really cool studies on it, on uh, uh, what makes a genetic elite when it comes to muscle recovery. Now, pre-steroids, there are people out there that recover, mus like muscular recover, two, three, five times faster than the average person. Kind of like Wolverine shit going on, right? And it's just their genetics. They have gifted genetics. Their muscles already repair faster than you and I. Then you stack on steroids that's gonna then increase their already like godlike genetic freak recovery rate, and then boom, this person's basically Wolverine, right? Well, maybe not Wolverine, but you know what I mean. So there you go, guys. Like they already 
have better genetics when it comes to testosterone than us, and certain guys will heal faster than us, no matter what you do. So you can take an average guy, pump him full of steroids and pump him full of test, and he still will not be able to compete with a guy with gifted genetics who also takes steroids, right? That guy's just got better genetics for it. That's it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really kind of simple when you think about it. Um, there's just people who are gifted genetically and these people just have it better, easier than we do. So even if you get a guy who's like super physiological test and has that awesome conversion rate, you might get a guy, like let's take me for example. I know that my body converts about two and a half to, to 3% of my serum test to free test because I've got tested before to see. And I can go, go up against another guy. I can get my serum testosterone to like 3000 and I'm still not going to be has have as much free test as that genetic freak who's like automatically just normally sitting at like 2000 and converts 5%. Even if I was injecting, I still can't compete with him because naturally he's just more gifted than I am. Right? So that's how all this stuff works. You got to understand that genetic freaks exist and they've done studies on them and they've shown that yeah, some races are just more predisposed or you just get the, the, the average guy, like take a look at like Jay Cutler. That guy is a genetic freak to the max. And then you stack on, I'm not saying Jay Cutler does drugs, but if he were to do drugs, that's what he's built for. He's just, he has a godlike genetics, all right? Hope this explains what a genetic freak or what a genetic elite is, how they come about and why even with gear use for the average person, you can't compete with them. Questions and comments down below guys. And as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a power lifter.